So good day. In this tutorial video, you will learn another measures in statistic, and these are the measures of position. So here are our objectives. So to be able to find quartiles, percentiles, and to be able to draw box plots. And this is what we call the box and whiskers plot. Now measures of position is used to describe the position of a data value in relation to the rest of the data. And these are the types of measures of position. We have the quartiles, percentiles, and deciles. Now for the for, uh, first measure, which is the quartiles, these are the values of the variables which are divided into quarters, meaning four equal parts. As you notice here, in our diagram, we have four parts here. So the first part has 25% or in each part meron siyang tig to 25%. Now yung first vertical line natin dito is our minimum value and yung last vertical line is the maximum value. Here is our lower quartile or the first quartile. Ito naman yung median natin, which is the Q2, and ito yung Q3. Now, let's interpret each quartile. Dito sa first quartile, as you notice here, yung lower part is 25%, and the, the scores above the Q1 is 75%. So, thus, at most 25% here, this of the data is smaller than Q1, while the other 75% is larger than the Q1. Similarly naman doon sa Q2 natin, as you notice here, okay, 50% is lower than the Q2 and 50% is um, above the Q2. And for the Q3, 75% is below the Q3 or is smaller than the Q3 and 25% is larger than the Q3. Next is the decile. The, it, the decile divides rank data into 10 equal parts. Pag dun sa quartile, it's 4. Dito naman sa decile, uh, 10. In each part has 10%. Okay, for example, if we have D3 or decile 3 or the third decile, then we'll come up with 30% of the data is smaller than D3. While the other uh, percent, which is 70%, is larger than, the, than D3. For example, dito naman sa D6. Kung meron tayong D6, it means that the score here is... 60% smaller than the value of the D6. The other uh, parts is 40% larger than the D6. So, ganyan na yung pag-interpret natin. Now, let's proceed to the last. We have the percentiles. Ang percentiles naman, are, these are the values of the variable that divide a rank set into 100 subsets. So, ito naman, 100 siya. Note, so kailangan nating uh, tandaan nito, na yung Q1 natin, okay, the Q1 is equal lang siya sa percentile 25. Yung Q2 natin is just the same with D5, P50, which is the percentile 50, and median. So equal, equal lang yan. Next is the third quartile is just the same with the 75th percentile. Okay? Let's have an example for the percentile. The 78th percentile means 78% are smaller than the given value. Parang yung sa quartile and um, decile lang natin kanina. Or if you um, want the other way, 22 to complete it into 100%, 
22% are bigger or larger than the given value. So, ganun yung pag-interpret ng percentile natin. Now, does making 80th percentile mean that you made an 80% on the test? Pagka na, ikaw ay nasa 88th percentile, ibig sabihin ba nun 80% ang nakuha mo dun sa test? Definitely, no. Ang ibig sabihin lang natin ng percentile is that 88th percentile would mean that the person did better than 80% of the students who took the same test. So, kumbaga 80% sa mga uh, kaklase mo ang nalamangan mo. Yun yung ibig sabihin. Next, the value that corresponds to the kth percentile. So, ito na yun. Nahanapin na natin yung uh, kth percentile. So, yung yung Locator formula natin is this one, C equals NP divided by 100. Yung N natin dito is the number of score. Tapos yung P natin dito is kung anong um, position yung uh, hanapin natin. So let's have this uh, reminder. If yung C ay decimal, pagka na-compute natin ay decimal, then... Um, Ira round up natin to the, to the next whole number, yung C. The next, kapag ka whole number naman na siya, then we must get the average of yung C and C plus 1. Yung parang sa pagkuha lang ng um, median natin. Okay? Kapag ka whole number, mag add 1 tayo. Pag decimal siya, then we get the next whole number. Example, use the following to find uh, 25th percentile. So, in this given data, notice na nakarank na siya from smallest to highest. So, you have to take note class that in getting any percentile or any position, it is necessary for us to arrange first the scores from smallest to the, the highest. Okay, since naka-arrange na siya, then we'll just have to use the formula. So, since we are about to um, find the 25th percentile, then yung number ng scores natin, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, yung N natin dito is 10. And yung P natin, kung ano yung position na hinahanap is 25 divided by 100. Take note that 10 times 25 is 250. Divided by 10, that's 2.5. Ngayon, do sa reminder natin kanina, sabi natin, if C is decimal, then we have to round it up. So, since we have 2.5, then kukunin natin yung pang 3. Okay? So, the third position in the given data is 5. Therefore, the P25 natin is 5. Take note also class not that P25 is also our Q1. So, ang Q1 natin is 5. Next, find P60. Again, same procedure. We have 10 N number of scores. Pero yung P natin in this case is 60 divided by 100. So, we have 6, 10 times 60, 600 Divided by 100, that's 6. Since class that 6 or our C here is a whole number, magpa plus 1 tayo. So, we have 6th and the 7th position. Ngayon, kukunin natin yung pang 6 and 7, then yung average nilang dalawa. When we say average, just add, just add rather than divide it by 2. So, we have 10 plus 12, that's 22, divided by 2, that's 11. So, ngayon kukunin natin yung 11 as our P60. Okay? Next, find P50 which is the same to Q2 or the median itself. Same process. Again, we have 10 times 50 divided by 100. 10 times 50, that's 500 divided by 100 equals 5. Then, since 5 is a whole number, then we get 
the plus one so fifth and the sixth position the fifth and sixth position is eight and ten so get the average of these two numbers we have eight plus ten that's 18 divided by 2 that's 9 so our p50 or the median or the q2 is 9 next how about the q3 or the p75 so just the same class we have 10 times 75 uh, that's 750 divided by 10 that's 7.5 so again pag decimal siya round up then we'll have the 8th position the 8th position natin dito is the 15 so therefore our q3 and p75 is equal to 15 so that is how we're going to find for the percentile next is to have the box plots or yung tinatawag natin box and whiskers plot box and whiskers plot it grabs 5 values of the set of data on a number line so ano nga ba yung mga 5 values natin so he, these are first the minimum value or the lowest score na given set of data the second is the q1 or the lower quartile natin third is the q2 or the median fourth is the upper quartile or q3 and lastly is the maximum value so paano nga ba ang paggawa ng box and whisker plot so here are the steps first is to five, find the five number summary so yung mga na discuss natin kanina second draw and label a scale of equal intervals so necessary ito yung itong equal intervals for us to see yung real graph talaga next Draw a vertical segment above the five numbers. Next, put a box around Q1 and Q3. So, box. Ito na yung box natin. Q1 and Q3. Then, draw a vertical line through the median and draw whiskers from the minimum to Q1 and maximum to Q3. So, for example, we have this data set. Then, as you notice here, Ito yung data na nagamit natin kanina in the previous um, measures of position. So, since we already got the Q1, Q2, and Q3. So, ito yun. This is the summary. So, ang minimum natin is 2. And the maximum is 20. Yung Q1 natin kanina is 5. Q2 is 9. Q3 is 15. Now, the first step is to identify the 5 values. Ito na yun. The second is to make an equal interval. Okay, so make a number lines. For example, in this one, since hanggang 20 tayo, why not to come up with 30 from 0 to 30? Then next is to draw a vertical line from each, for each rather, measure. So first is the minimum 2. So vertical line, magdraw lang tayo ng line here. The next Maximum 20, so magdraw tayo ng line with equal length with the, uh, with the minimum. The next is to identify the vertical line for Q1 since 5 yan, so andito yung vertical. Take note na yung mga quartiles natin must be the vertical line rather for each quartile must be larger than the minimum and maximum. Next, ang Q3 natin is 15, so andito yun. Q3. The next step is to make a box connecting Q1 and Q3. Ayan. So, ito na yung box natin. The next is to draw a vertical line from Q2. Ang Q2 natin is 9. So, andito yung Q2. Then, this now, this is now our box. The remaining would be our whiskers. Ang whiskers natin, just connect a horizontal line from the minimum value to Q1. And then, another whisker would be from the maximum to Q3. So, this is now the whisker or the box and whiskers plan. Okay? So, as you notice here, mas mahaba yung whisker natin to the right. So, that is why when the given set of data, it is positively skewed. 
Again, it is positively skewed because the whisker is longer on the right. Mas mahaba kasi siya kesa doon sa kaliwa. So that's why it is positively skewed. Now let's have another set of data para mas maintindihan ninyo. So since we have a data which is not uh, yet arranged, then i-arrange muna natin siya from lowest to highest. So this is now the result when we arrange the data. First is to of course identify Q1. Ang Q1 natin, remember is P25. So since we have 2, 4, 6, 8, then yung N natin is 8, yung P natin is 25 divided by 100. So um, that's 200 divided by 100, that's 2. Since this one is a whole number, magpa plus 1 tayo. So we have 2nd and 3rd. Yung 2nd and 3rd natin, we have 1, 2, yung 2nd is 4th, ay 4, at yung 3rd natin is 5. Since we have two numbers, get the average. That's 4 plus 5 divided by 9. I divided by 2 rather. 4 plus 5 is 9 divided by 2. That's 4.5. So, ang Q1 natin is 4.5. Next is to get the median or the uh, Q2 or simply the P20, uh, P50. So, again... We have 8 times 50 divided by uh, 100, that's 400 divided by 100, that's 4. Since again, this is a whole number, then we have to get also the fifth number. So, yung fourth and fifth natin is 5 and 7. 5 plus 7 is 12 divided by 2, that's 6. Q3 is P75. Again, that's 600 divided by 100. That's 6. Again, 6 is a whole number. Then we have to get also the 7th number. So the 6th number is 9. And the 7th number is 11. So 9 plus 11, that's 20 divided by 2 will give us 10. Now the other two remaining uh, number or value for us to be able to have box and whisker plot is the minimum and the maximum. The minimum is 3, the maximum is 13. Now, we're ready to have the box and whiskers plot. This is the summary of our values. Then, we'll have to make a number line. And then, to make a vertical line for each value here, the minimum is 3, the maximum is 13. Q1 is 4.5, so absolutely Q1, Q, uh, Q1 is here. Q3 uh, is 10, so and dito yung Q3. Then make a box connecting Q1 and Q3. Then the other, uh, the remaining value is the Q2. Then we have 6. Okay, and then make a whisker, a whisker here. Uh, here and another whisker here. So this is now the box and whiskers plot for this um, data. Now notice again that the whisker is longer on the right so that is why the data is positively skewed. Now it's your turn. How do we interpret a box plot? Okay, so it is a valuable source of easy to interpret information about a sample of data. Why? Kapag ka kasi nakikita na lang, na, na, na lang natin yung, yung values dito, then uh, it is easy for us to identify kung ano yung Q1, Q2, Q3, minimum and maximum. Next, it can provide information about samples range, the median, normality of the distribution is Q. Of the distribution. So that's why we have already uh, determined kung positive, positively skewed or negatively skewed yung isang distribution based on the whisker. Now, draw a box and whisker plot of the data below. Thank you for listening and God bless everyone.